a guitar player's unique sound comes really from his or her fingers. So imagine what it's like if they don't work properly. Jeff Glor has the story of a musician who faced that very frightening situation and managed to overcome it. What an inspiring story. Pretty amazing, yeah, Erica. His name is Billy McLaughlin, a guitarist from Minnesota, and he plays by, by hammering with his fingers on the neck of the guitar. His name may be unfamiliar to you, but the sound is beautiful, and his story is unforgettable. Billy McLaughlin has an intricate style, both unusual and infectious. I really love what I get to do. I, I, can, I love it a lot, man. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. In his prime, Billy attracted fans around the world. Yeah. Performed 200 shows a year, even hit the Billboard Top 10 charts. And then, all of a sudden... At what point did you start to feel something that didn't feel right? Some of my more um, hotshot pieces started to elude me. I couldn't, I literally couldn't play them. His fingers on his left hand, the ones that created the complicated chords, began locking up. If I try to play those six notes now, I can't even... I, I, You can't even press your fingers down. There. I can't even get my, my third finger to lift up. It's very uncomfortable to watch. And yeah. It's really hard for me to... Billy couldn't explain what was happening. Worse still, neither could his doctors. If you suffer from something for three years before you actually get diagnosed with it, That's you miserable. know, it's, it's awful. Even other musicians thought the problem with his hand was in his head. You inevitably get caught in this thing where I must be losing my mind. Finally, the diagnosis came. Focal dystonia, a neuromuscular condition far more common than you might think. It's the third most common disorder, uh, uh, movement disorder after Parkinson's and tremors. What Billy did next was remarkable and musically maybe unprecedented. Switching hands from his left to his right. Same idea of switching your pen hand from one hand to the other, that is not an easy task. For six long years, retraining his brain became the focus of Billy's life. I'm not very proud of the fact that I gave up a few times. I couldn't see the finish line. Thank you. My name is Billy McLaughlin, and I'm a left-handed guitarist. Recently, he began touring again. Every song he plays, I'm just, I'm just in awe. It's just amazing. DC Hathaway came to see Billy perform at this concert in San Diego. So did Henry Austin. It's not just the comeback that inspires them, they also suffer from dystonia. To see him change and, and play the guitar the opposite direction to me is just astounding. Billy McLaughlin just has been a godsend for me. Could it be that I was Back on stage, transformed by his struggle, Billy has now reclaimed both his music and his identity. It affected me in a really deep way because I lost what I was so in love with. And it gave me one heck of a challenge to try to get my music back, get my life back. Do you feel like you have that? Absolutely. Good night! Dystonia affects 300,000 Americans, and Billy has been given some sobering news. There is a chance his other hand may one day be affected. He says he'll deal with that if it comes. For now, he's playing as much as he can 
for as long as he can. It's just, it's, it's wild to think about not only the way he, he mm -hmm. could retrain essentially his brain to be able to do this, but also you said it affects some 300,000 people. The trouble with him is it wasn't diagnosed initially. It, 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 it affects that so many people, but, but, but still, it, there's not the awareness level, and yeah. that's, that's why Billy's speaking out. He's touring at the same time, but he's also speaking out because when you mention dystonia, people just don't know what it is. And even many doctors um, don't, they don't really fully understand it, and that, that's what's so frustrating for him. So it's part of the hope then that in, in bringing greater awareness, not only to people who may be suffering it, but also to the medical community, that it could help better diagnose it. I think that's what he wants to do. And I think that, that by playing as much as he can and then also speaking out, uh, he, he brings that awareness. Um, and boy, it's it's nice listening to his sounds. Right? Oh, it's incredible. It's just it's a great story. <laughs> he seems like a really great guy, too. Yes, Jeff, yes. thanks. Sure.